Hey guys, this is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang and Associates, and today we're going to talk about how millennials are affecting the real estate market. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang and Associates, and today we're going to talk about how millennials are affecting the real estate market. So, as millennials are getting a little bit older now, they're getting into the uh, home buying age. Actually, uh, I found out uh, last couple weeks that um, my age cutoff actually could be a millennial or uh, or Gen Y, I think it is from before. So I kind of straddle that line. Um, so here are some uh, behaviors from millennials that are actually affecting the market in a big way. So number one, millennials are definitely very independent. They, they, uh, they like to look at homes on their own, on their apps, whether it's Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, or look online and do a lot of research before they decide to go see a house or before they even talk to an agent. So you wanna make sure when you're selling your house that your information, your, your home profile listing and everything is on all the major websites, uh, 3D virtual tour, aerial drone photography, everything that you can provide to a millennial for them to do their research before they decide whether to come see your house. So that's number one, they're very independent. Number two, they are very cost and price conscious because a lot of millennials uh, are buying a home for their first time. They're using their savings. A lot of times they have help from parents. They are very cost conscious. So be sure not to overprice your home. It needs to be attractive for first time home buyers if you're in that category. And uh, you know they they can because they're so independent. A lot of times they can see price history, how much you bought it for, how long ago you bought it, uh, bought your home, uh, tax assessor records, neighborhood comps. They do their due diligence, so they're definitely very price sensitive. Also because they're uh, a lot of times first time home buyers. And uh, lastly, I like to call this HGTV culture. So these millennials have grown up watching HGTV and for them that's reality and for a lot of uh, generations prior you know we didn't have HGTV we went and looked at houses in person and decided uh, by comparing houses which one we wanted to buy and which features are better but a lot of the Millennials have never done that the only exposure they've had to real estate is through TV so a lot of these TV shows what they do is um, you know fix or flop or certain uh, house hunters or all these other shows they they kind of make it seem that it's 100% normal that uh, you either buy a house in 100% turnkey condition, all upgraded within the last six months, or it's a gut job. So a lot of times that's the expectation that they have. I've shown plenty of houses to uh, the millennial generation. And what's funny is we'll go in and see a house and you know, 10 or 15 years ago, the, uh, the trend was dark wood floors, dark cabinets, uh, granite countertops, maybe rounded bull nose style, uh, you know, that kind of design, which for a lot of, you know, generations is acceptable. It's, it's considered, you know, it's still turnkey, maybe not, not updated to today's standards, but it's still turnkey. A millennial, more often than not, they will go into a house, see that house that could be in turnkey condition, everything is in great condition, and they'll call it a gut job. Uh, which uh, you know, homeowners should not be offended by, but that's what they've seen on TV. So um, just know that when you're dealing with a millennial generation, they may not be willing to pay for the upgrades that you've put in 10, 15, 20 years ago, and they expect everything to be um, either turnkey or they want to uh, negotiate on price to, to uh, redo the whole house. So just be aware of the type of buyer that may be coming through your home, especially if your home is um, maybe in the lower price ranges here in Orange County. If you're maybe under about 900, you know, 800,000, that might be a good target for millennials. So just be aware of those uh, few factors. Uh, number one, they're very independent. So make sure your home is on all the major websites and all the information is there for them to see. Number two, they are price conscious. So be sure to uh, not overprice your home. And number three, uh, you know, don't be offended if they, uh, if they want to make some changes to your house, uh, and, and, um, you know, they want to potentially negotiate on price if, if they're, if your house doesn't have the most recent upgrades. So those are the three trends that I'm seeing. If, uh, there are any other topics that you want me to talk about, just let me know, contact me at the phone number at the bottom of the screen. Again, my name is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang and Associates. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.